Hey guys, it's the Pink King here. Today is a little bit of a different video for you. With all the stuff going on from the artist tournament to puzzle pieces, I wanted to make a video I've been meaning to make for a while now. But what is today's video about? Well, for context, as Hell of a Boss has been expanding with more episodes, I have been one of the more critical content creators, you could say, reviewing this show with a large criticism I've had with the show being its inconsistent art direction, specifically how the show often fails to make in character designs that feel fluid and genuine rather than abominations. But we'll get to that later, don't you worry. So I thought I would repurpose my Dinosaur King redrawing series here and put my money where my mouth is. I'm going to redesign two characters from Hell of a Boss to show that what I've been saying in terms of bad designs is valid and also just a little fun excuse to draw some characters. So yeah, don't take this video as me saying uh, I'm a better than the creators of the show or me saying that I could do better than the creators of this show. Don't take it like that because it's not. This is rather a sort of proof of concept if you will. The show could do a lot better than it currently is. Now, before we begin, all I ask you is that you subscribe. Come on, subscribe and like this video. My goal is to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. We are so close to that goal. We're close to 4K, just one more K to go. And with your help, we can definitely achieve this. So, you want more videos like this? Then subscribe. That's all I ask, just subscribe. And with that, let's begin, shall we? First, I wanted to start off simple and tackled Blitzo, because Blitzo is a pretty good design already, but there are a few issues I have with him that I feel could be improved, definitely. Number one, his design is quite inconsistent in the show. One moment he'll be tall and lanky, with very thin curled horns, then later on he'll suddenly be much shorter with a bulkier build and much more curved and jagged horns. Now. I understand that designs change slightly as the show goes along, but the problem here is it keeps switching in and out. Even in the same episode, it keeps switching from jagged to curled to thin to big. It keeps swapping and I can't help but notice it. And for number two, Blitz's design doesn't really tell us much about his character. A good character design should tell you a few things, like what their personality might be, or something that clues into their history but with blitz his design really doesn't tell you much if anything about his character beyond his red buttons resembling ones you'd see on a clown so with that in mind i wanted to make a minor adjustments to blitz but adjustments i feel that would make all the difference with first off being his structure watching blitz in the show his personality is one of unempathetic nihilism and a very assholery mentality, so to help portray this, I decided to make Blitz's shoulders much more hunched over, in a way that helps to express his lack of care, not only for others, but himself also. In terms of other changes, I decided to add more sharp edges to him, to help portray his, his more prickly nature, by going for more curved horns, and adding a sharp snap in his neck, that in my opinion make him look more cruel and unfriendly. Also, I gave him some nice little hooves on his boots since I know he loves horses so much. However, possibly my favourite changes would probably have to be his tail and his flower. Since Blitz's scars are key part to his character, they should be easy to identify, right? But when first watching the show, I had no idea that all these white patches on his body were initially scars. So to help get this across more, I decided to take a few pieces out of his tail to help clue you in that he's been damaged before. And then, the flower. Seeing Blitz's buttons made me think, maybe I could draw more links to him being a clown. So I felt giving him a green flower, similar to what clowns may have, not only helped link him to his past, but added some nice variety to his design as it stands out amongst his more reds and blacks with the nice green and yellow. And with that, this design was complete.
Now I know the changes here were minor, but I think it turned out fantastic. To me, it helps portray who Blitz is way more than his original design, while maintaining his recognisable silhouette. But ultimately, it's you guys who are the judges here, so tell me in the comments, what do you think of Blitz's design here? And did I improve it or did I ruin it? Let me know in the comments, I really want to know this one because I think I improved it. I'm going to pat myself on the back. Oh boy, this is apparently a controversial opinion, but I hated Beezlebub's design in Hell of a Boss. This was one of the reasons I wanted to make this video in the first place, because this design is just... Is that a joke? Tell me you're joking. So if you want to know more of my issues, go watch my review on this episode. But to keep it brief here, it's extremely messy, a eyesore, and doesn't look special. Honestly, it's a wonder they were able to animate her so well because it's so hard to even look at her, let alone draw. Plus, despite the character of Beezlebub in fiction depicted more insect-like, for some reason she's just another wolf furry design. And for a character who's supposed to be a deadly sin, to just repeat the same template as before, it just feels so incredibly lazy. So, I had a choice here. I could try to completely redesign her from scratch, but to me, that didn't seem interesting, that seemed a bit like cheating. So as an extra challenge, I wanted to redesign her, but try to keep as much from her current design as possible, just as an extra little challenge for myself. So after looking over everything, I decided on a few things. I'd keep her colours, her four arms, and her more carefree party look. But in terms of changes, there were a lot, with the biggest change being the animal she was, Seeing as Beezlebub is supposed to represent gluttony and envy, I wanted to go for a more insect-like design, more specifically a bee. Because a bee, in my opinion, fits both gluttony and envy, with gluttonous being the amount of honey they make and envious being as they're one of the more pretty insects in the animal kingdom. I tried to keep similar proportions here to the original design, but one thing I knew right away was I wanted to get rid of that stupid honey flowy thing behind her, and instead I moved all that to her lower legs and her stinger, not only to make it look cleaner, but it's much more appealing to look at and doesn't overwhelm your senses. I tried to replicate the similar honey style as in the original design, but here it just looked absolutely stupid, and I ultimately did not like it. Sometimes less is just more. One addition I thought was kind of genius was the wings. The reason why they're pink is because in the episode she's in, her song is Cotton Candy. Before, in her current design, it doesn't fit her, it's, it doesn't fit at all. So I instead make the wings here a nice pink to represent the cotton candy with sparkles, I think that was just a nice little sprinkle on top of it. And speaking of sprinkles, I decided to add some to her shorts and her arms, alongside some foods like cherry and candy to help add to the gluttony of her, because often confusion that I see for a character like this and for a character to be gluttonous is that they need to be fat. But in actuality, you can have gluttony without size. After all, look at Shaggy from Scooby-Doo as a famous example. But for the most part, this design was pretty straightforward, honestly, and I feel was a very good result. And with that, let's see what it looks like. Now, already, I feel this is a massive improvement. It keeps the same concept as the original, but portrays it in a new way that's more logical and pleasing to look at. I feel it captures both the carefree party girl and also the power of a sin, something akin to Osmodius in the show, who was a big influence on the redesigning of Beezlebub here. But again, what do you guys think of her redesign? I know this is probably my most controversial change, but I want to hear what you have to say on this. Woo! And that's two completed redesigns. This was a lot of fun redesigning these characters. I think this turned out fantastic, I love both designs and I feel they're pretty strong. Now, 
If you want to save these designs or use these designs yourself in your own drawings or something, then go join my Discord server right now, Pink King's Domain. I upload all my designs and redesigns there available for anyone to use. So go join right now. The link is in the description and I can't wait to see you there. But now let's talk about something else. If you guys want me to do this again, perhaps with more characters from Hell of a Boss and maybe even Has Been Hotel, then be sure to like this video. If this video can get to around 150 likes within a week, I will make a part 2 to this video. So like this video and comment down below what character you would want me to redesign next. And who knows, maybe your comment will be featured in part 2. And with that, I will see you all next time.